Good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Teacher Regina, and I would like to welcome all of you here today in the classroom, as well as those of you joining us online. You know, um, I want to open us up with prayer and make sure that we are ready for our word today. Are you guys ready? All right. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today, Sunday. Lord, we just thank you for bringing us here to church safely. We thank you for the participants who were in the classroom today and those that are online and who have come ready to receive your word today, Lord. We bless you and we thank you for all the gifts that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for our health. We thank you for our families. Lord, we thank you for our church family. Lord, continue to watch over us. Let us open up our hearts and our minds and our ears to hear your word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so today um, our lesson is on the ascension of Jesus. Um, and if you're online, feel free to click the link um, in the email to watch the video and answer any questions so that way you guys can earn Bible bucks. So those here in the classroom, if you guys are wanting to earn Bible bucks, then you guys will raise your hand when I ask questions, right? Right, okay, they're all shaking their heads, yes, perfect. All right, so um, the first thing I wanna do is start with our memory verse for today, but before we do today's memory verse, does anyone remember last week's memory verse? Anyone want to try? Yeah. Uh, I know one from Maria a few weeks ago. From a few weeks ago? No. We're looking for last week's memory verse. Were you here last week? No, I think. I oh, that's not fair. I'll Question for you. Me. Yeah. Okay. So I'll read it. And then if anybody remembers it, then feel free to raise your hand as I'm reading it. So our memory verse last week came from Luke 23, 43. And it said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Does that sound familiar? A little bit? Does anyone remember what Jesus was talking about when he said that verse or why he said that? Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. So last week was what? Easter. What happened on, what happened, what did we learn about on Easter last week? Eden. When Jesus was crucified on the cross. Correct. When Jesus was crucified on the cross. And so when he says, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing, what is he saying? Or who, what is he, what is he referencing? What is he talking about? Do you, is it is it because the people are stoning him and they they crucified him on the cross and even in that moment he was still saying father forgive them they're being very mean they're being very angry but they don't know they don't know that I am the son of God and I'm here to save man right he was still asking for their forgiveness right okay so this week is about the ascension of Jesus. Um, does anyone know what the word ascension means? Anyone want to try and guess what the word ascension means? So we watched a very short video and we saw God talking to his disciples and then out of nowhere a light appeared and what happened? A cloud like the dead and eyes came and took Jesus up to heaven. A cloud came and took Jesus up to heaven. And how did he go? He went up high, right? So does anyone want to guess what ascension means now? I think you all, you just did it. Go ahead. So ascension means going up to heaven? Ascension means going up, right? Being lifted up, being lifted up high, ascending high into the sky. You did it. You did it. So ascension means being Lift it up high into the sky. Not necessarily. That's confusing. No, you did it. It's not confusing. You it's did it. It's confusing because it doesn't sound like it has anything to do with the word. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what's confusing me. Yep, yep. But 
you did it. You did a great job. So God sent the cloud, the light, the Holy Spirit, and came and got Jesus and ascended him up into heaven, right? And so Jesus came to earth. Does anyone know why God sent Jesus down to earth? After we watched the story, we were told why God sent Jesus here. Why did God send Jesus here on earth, Eden? Because, um, because he wanted to save people. He wanted to save people. He came to save all of us. He wanted to forgive our sins. That's why he sent him. Yes, he wanted to forgive our sins. He came to save us. Wonderful. Absolutely, that is 100% correct. And so Jesus came in the form of a gift is what it says. Jesus was a gift to all of us. Isn't that a wonderful gift that God gave us to save all of mankind, to save all of us, right? Right. So does anyone know who Jesus was talking to before he got ascended up into Samson? Um, God. He was talking to God and other people. Who were those people? The people that were that he was talking to, Maya. Disciples. Yes, disciples, exactly. So you know what the word disciples means? They were the friends and the followers of Jesus, right? And they saw, they were seeing him come back because remember Jesus, we learned last week, Jesus was crucified, right? You guys did a wonderful play, right? Where Jesus was put into the tomb. Then they opened the tomb and he was, what? He was gone. He was missing. But then this was him coming back. So they were so excited to see him. And then he left again, right? So they were what? How do you think those disciples felt when Jesus left them again, Samson? Yeah. They felt bad. And what happens when you miss someone? You feel um, um, sad. sad. Exactly. They were sad. Yeah. Bad and sad, exactly. Bad and sad, they do rhyme. <laughs> so they were sad. They were like, oh my goodness. He came back. We were so excited. And he's gone again. But then the two angels appeared and they said, don't worry. Don't worry. Go ahead. And they weren't angels. They didn't have wings. They didn't have wings? They were more men. They were men. They were wearing white though, so I get why he might call them angels. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So they weren't angels? Yeah. Okay. We'll have to look into that. It said two men. It did say two men. Where, where were those men from, you think? Uh, they were probably helping those men down. Exactly. They were from heaven. They came down and they, they said... They were probably angels, but they didn't have their wings. They didn't have wings. That's probably what happened. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they did not see any wings. That is very true. Sometimes <laughs> angels don't have wings. And you know what? They don't have the little halo over their head either. Like, that's what they show on the screen. But angels come in many forms, right? They come mm -hmm. in many different ways. These were people that were helping to build heaven. They came on mission to get Jesus and bring them back to his father, right? So at the end of the story, it goes into, and it was a very short story, but I wanted to know if you guys listened to the end. And it said that God... Those who follow God, those who choose Jesus and follow God, have what living inside of them? Did you guys get that part? What lives inside of them? Anybody want to try? Jesus. Jesus lives inside us how? How does Jesus live inside of all of us, Maya? Your heart. Your heart? He lives inside of our heart through what? Eden. The sins of his soul. Our what? The sins in our, through our soul. He lives in our soul, absolutely. And Samson. The holy. He lives in us through the holy. Heart. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, yes. So when we choose Jesus, when we choose to follow Jesus, and we're saying yes to our Lord and Savior, he lives in us. And so Jesus lives in all of us. He's not here physically with us, but he lives in all of us through the Holy Spirit. Does that make sense? Do you guys understand that? Yeah? Great. Great. Any questions? No questions. All right. So 
today we are going to um, go over our our uh, memory verse for today and it's just as short as the last one so it reads you guys ready ready mm -hmm. then they believed his promises and sang him praise you guys want to try it with me so there it is right here can you guys see it yes ready we're going to say it all together if you can't read, don't worry. We're going to say it a few times. It's very short, okay? All right. Then they believed his promises and sang his praise. Okay, let's try it two more times and then we'll get to... That was the same part. We'll get to the end. One more time. Then they believed his promises and sang his praise. One more time, I can't hear you. This is our last time. Let's make it loud so the people can hear us on the video, okay? Ready? Then they believed his promises and sang his praise. Good job. And that is Psalm 106.12. Yep, Psalms 106.12. Got it. All right, so this closes our lesson for today. I know it's short, but you know what? Short, small, very powerful, nonetheless. Nonetheless, it doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be lengthy. Sometimes really big messages come in really small, small pieces, right? And it's good because we know that God is big. We know that he loves all of us, right? No matter how he comes to us, whether it's in small messages, whether it's in big messages, nonetheless, God is here. Jesus saved all of us, right? Is that right? Yes. Amen. All right, yes. amen. So I'm going to close this out in prayer, but before I do that, does anyone else have questions about the lesson today, about Jesus ascending to heaven? Now we know what the word ascending means, and we know what the word disciples mean. Great job. Eden? Why did he have to get back to heaven? Why did he go back? Well, God sent him to save us. He came and he completed his mission, right? He completed coming down. He performed miracles. He was here for quite some time, but he had to go back to be with his father. And now it's a choice if we want to follow him or not. So now we choose, but you know what? It doesn't matter if he left because where does he live? I can't hear you. He lives up in our heart in heaven. He lives up in our heart and in heaven, exactly. So even if he's not here, he's still with us every day. And all we have to do is call on him. Do you guys call on Jesus every day? Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so let's, close us out in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the message today. We thank you for your son that you sent down to save all of us. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for that gift. We thank you for the right to choose to follow Jesus Christ, Lord. We thank you for blessing us with your son to save all of us, to forgive us of our sins, to give us grace, to give us mercy. Jesus, we follow you. We know that you live in us. We know that we can call on you at any time, day or night, just by saying your name. Lord, we thank you for your love. We thank you for the gift of your son. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for joining us online. We'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.